Merry Christmas. I'm Tony Roseland. Welcome to Santa Monica. Do I look tan? Alright guys, like I said, I'm in Santa Monica for the holidays. I'm here with my family. We are staying at the beautiful Fairmont Hotel of Bungalows here just across from the beach. Staying at this beautiful hotel reminded me of a little tip that I thought I'd share with you guys. It's a technique that my father used when he first moved from East Coast to West Coast and dumped his studios. Let me give you a little backstory. Alright, so Sun's not even up yet, it's the crack of dawn. Uh, I'm getting ready to fly out today and uh, wanted to get this recorded for you guys. So, backstory. I'm a third generation photographer, if you didn't know. Um, I grew up in a family full of portrait photographers in portrait studios, so I've been around the portrait industry a long time, even though I don't really shoot portraits. Uh, you know, I shoot buildings and food and product. And so you guys know all this. So when he moved from the East Coast to the West Coast, my father didn't open another studio. He was working on location because of the location. There's beautiful beaches and palm trees and parks and all this stuff around. There's no reason to have a studio out here in that line of work. What my father did was he approached uh, some of the higher end hotels like the Four Seasons and some of those, and he hit up the concierges there. Now, you may be thinking the concierge, you know, that's the person you ask for directions or for show tickets, but it's also the person that guests hit up when they want to try to get family portraits taken or they need a photographer for uh, a foursome out at the golf course that they want to commemorate with their buddies. <laughs> Not going to find the banquets director or the catering director who ever handles events because that's for wedding photographers. We're not interested in that right now. We're trying to pick up all those other missed business opportunities. And so if you hit up the concierge with your leave behind, and if you don't know what a leave behind is, uh, it can be any, any demonstration of your body of work. Maybe it's a couple of prints shoved in an envelope. Maybe it's a blurb book that you've had done. Maybe it's a few postcards or something, but whatever you have, a brochure, something that shows your work. And you take that leave behind and you attach your business card to it. And then you slip 50 or hundred bucks uh, inside of that. Make sure that they know it's there. But yeah, you may be going, geez, I got to get 50 or hundred bucks and I don't know if I'm going to get anything in return. But there's a lot of other marketing avenues that you can do out there that there's no guarantee that you're going to get a return either that are a lot more expensive. So the thing about this approach is that my dad had a pretty high success rate with it. So you're making contact with someone who has direct contact with the potential client that you are after. So they come to him and say, Mr. And Mrs. Concierge, we want to get family portraits taken. Can you recommend somebody? Well, if you're the guy that just slipped them a leave behind with a hundred dollar bill in it the week before, they're probably going to give you a shout. So that's a pretty good in with that person. And the other beautiful thing about this tactic is that look at the grounds of these places. They're amazing. If you've ever been to a Four Seasons or a Hyatt Andaz or a Fairmont property or anything like any of these high-end properties, the groundskeepers are meticulous. I mean, there's so many awesome places to shoot around here. It's like a portrait photographer's dream and you have full access now because the concierge is the person that's referred the client to you. The other nice thing about this is that the concierge is never going to know how the photos really turned out. All they're going to know is what the experience was like for the client because you're going to take them out shooting around the property or whatever. And then when they get back, the concierge is probably going to inquire on how it went. They're going to say, oh, it was fantastic. He was so much fun. We laughed the whole time. I think it's going to be great. It was, we had a great time. Everybody loved it, et cetera, et cetera. By the time you deliver the prints, the final images, those people are long back in Minnesota or wherever they're from. And the concierge never knows any different whether the photos were any good or not. So what you need to be concentrating on is creating that experience when you're with those clients. So that's it. That's how it works. Basically, you're, you're bribing a concierge, but in reality, you're, you're marketing, you're giving, you're trying to make a relationship and this business is all about building relationships because whether you're a commercial or retail photographer, it's all going to come from those relationships, building those relationships. And that's where your referral business is going to come from. Take a leave behind. Make sure you take your business card and your contact information, slip a little 50 or $100 bill in there and start building those relationships. Again, the high-end places, not your, not your holiday inns and your, and your you know, overnight Motel 6s, Motel 8s. So that's it, that's the tip. Get out there and bribe yourself a concierge. 
use their grounds to make beautiful photos, build those relationships, and um, until next time, I'm Tony Roseland. I hope that stuff works for you guys. I am out of here. <laughs>